should have let him win that one. So now, let's see what Hamed can do. Has absolutely no occupational fear at all, Jim. You know, we've, you particularly, we've been around long enough to watch fighters. He, nothing upsets this boy. He's so natural before a fight. He's, there's no tension. Well, fighters like Muhammad Ali, Roberto Duran, uh, Ray Leonard, they all have supreme confidence, but nobody was any more confident than this young fellow. Uh, whether he'll reach the same heights as those uh, other people remains to be seen. But he certainly is special. And I tell you, Jim, I'm sure he takes a good punch. Oh, dear, his legs so You notice that? He, yeah. he, he might go out the opening round, this fellow. His legs went stiff on him there. It's a short, jolting little hook, bang in the chin. He's been watching tapes of him, Hamad. He says, I know how I'm going to do this guy. So you have to remember, Castro, most of oh. his work's been done as a super flyweight, Reg. He might just not be big enough for Hamed. There's no point in waving him on. That doesn't sound smart move to me. If Hamed wanted him out, Reg, he would knock him out now. They were teasing each other a bit at the way, and it wasn't nasty at all. In fact, it was fairly amusing. And Hamed would, uh, wanted to have a wager with this fellow's manager. He said, you seem to be braver than your fighter. I'll take your money. And he wouldn't go for it. Come Cash his legs, Reg. Haven't recovered. No, you see, he's got no balance at all. He's still shaking from that punch. Hamed doesn't want to knock him out. He's just standing off. He looks a bit shocked, one, didn't he? Oh, look at that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This one's not going. Nicky Van's going to tell him, stop all this way, we gone nonsense and pulling him behind the, the head. Castro's legs have gone, Reg. His legs have not recovered from that first look, the jolting hook caught bang in the chin, and he hasn't recovered. Well, I hope he's understood all that. He, he lives in California, this guy. So he was treading on cotton wool there, Jim, wasn't it, the Mexican? Yep, you can see his movements, Reg, his legs have not recovered. That punch is really shaking him up, he hasn't thrown the effects. Hamed's just toying with him here. I think if he wanted to finish this, he could do it with one shot. See, he, he, he boxes with so much heavier guys in the gym. And I mean, he's even been with a heavy, in him with a heavyweight for a while. Didn't please Brendan Ingle. I think he pulled him out. He didn't want any rough stuff there. He's got a lot of natural strength too, Hamed, isn't he? Beautifully trained. See more fat on a butcher's apron than that. Well, we know Castro won't give up. I mean, he's trying to get himself back into things here. But already, they look different leagues altogether. Never thought we'd say that, Jim, really, about it. Well, as Barry McGuigan was saying, this, this fellow is a threat, but he hasn't shown any at the moment. Well, in his last few fights, raised, he's faced two men who have gone 12 rounds for world titles, and he has just toyed with them. It's a bit of a catcher at the moment, Castro, isn't he? A bit of a goalkeeper, Jim, he's stopping everything. Doesn't he look, look close to catching Hamid with him? That was more of a stumble, yeah, quite well, a late referee ban. He still caught him with a punch, though, Jim. He fell over himself, but some referee just might have given that as a count. A little bit of a shove at the end, anyway. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Left off the floor. Now, there he shoved him again, but he did land the punch. But yes, he did shove him with that one. See, he's got a great defence mechanism, Hamid. When he lands a punch, if the opponent's still in, he pushes him so he can't come back with a count. These are good shots. He digs, he digs. Punches from all angles. It's all over by the shouting gym, surely. Yeah, I think as soon as he likes Reg, this one's over. And, uh, power problems. Oh, dear. That is a knockdown and no shove. Gets the man a create and he will need it. And I've got a feeling this now will be the beginning of the end. That's like the rock of the landslide that's going to come. See, Castro's never faced a guy like this. And nobody has, obviously. We realise that now. See, just all the time in the world now in this round, Jim. He's done it at the start of the round. Well, he knows he has the power to do it with one single shot. There it there is. It it's all over, I think, yes. 
has done, he shouldn't have done that, he's given him the standing cap no, and he's done really, the somersault. Well, not really, Reg, because his backside was on the ropes, the ropes yeah. were stopping him going over, so technically the referee can call that a knockdown, yeah, it's got a standing count. That, that Hamid thought the fight was over and did his somersault, premature. Imagine if he'd have ricked an ankle at that stage, he would have been in trouble. Castles had nothing to offer since that first shot in the first round. Yeah. This looks like the end now. Yeah, the referee will do him a favour now, get in as soon as he can. He knows he's going. And Nicky Van Lowe is getting right on top of him too. He realises that he might want to have to step in. It's a foolish bravery, and it's all over in the fourth round. And there is the official somersault. He rocked him in the first round with a left hook, and he never recovered. Of course, I'm unique. You've got to know this, Gary. The president of Yemen has given you a present this week. Tell the viewers what it is. I'm going to say this sport's convertible when I get it. I'm definitely getting it. I know that. Now, I think he wants to give me three after this fight. OK, well, this was the end, really, although it stopped afterwards. It was this knockdown that finished it off. See, oh, baby, there it is. I think that one what really done the damage. But the one was before that. Look at them uppercuts and hooks. He's gone. Good night, viewers, because you know I'm...